Greetings and welcome back. Back to the first place. Bless you there, Don. Uh, <laughs> donkey sneezes. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty and winter in the village. And have you ever had a moment where you go, you know what? I like what I was thinking. I don't like what I was thinking. <laughs> and you look at it and you're like, I don't, I don't know. No, this needs a change. This is some stuff that needs some changing, and it's going to happen here. So I was looking at things, and I was going through this village, and I was saying, hmm, I'm not, not in love with how this area turned out here. I was not, not particularly excited about how things were looking in this particular area. For one, I don't like that how that sewing hut is sitting there off of that house, and I had a better idea, and we're going to change it. And then I was looking at this, and I'm like, ah, oh, gee. I'm trying to get things organized and the whatnot, and this is just a, I don't know, I could fit it. And so I did, and so there it is. But then I'm looking at it, and I got to starting the episode last time, and I went, this looks horrible. I don't like it at all. And then I did a little bit of just like screwing around with uh, no consequences, breaking everything, starting everything up again, going, all right, well, if it's, I'm not happy with it, I shouldn't keep it. And so here... All right, we're going to do some editing is essentially what this comes down to. Now, we are going to need to do a couple things. Oh, right, she is actually pregnant. Oh, that, I mean, I keep forgetting every single day, and then one day I go, oh, shoot, it's the end of the season. I better hurry up and actually be there after 7, and poor lady's already in bed. And every night before that, I've been like, oh, yeah, I'll be back. Questing around the town. Well, anyhow, so we will have two people having children soon enough that's awesome and one of them will be our heir okay anyway where are we at we have anybody we have nobody who's a farmer right now yes good job me but i do have a bunch of barn workers and honestly eh, i don't need barn workers i don't need barn workers that bad i can take care of that job fairly well i do need animal breeders that will happen these people will gain farming skill so this person is just starting out i see mm-hmm mm-hmm Let's do a little change here. I only have one excavation shed. Not bad. But I can also have them work here as the water bucket carrier to gain extraction skill. So we're going to do that for now. I want to have them gaining the skill. And I also think I'm probably going to be running out of water pretty darn soon. There's just no way that I have remembered to put water there. <laughs> I just figure I haven't. So let's have you take care of that so it's not a thing. And I also don't need people working in the barn really that much right now. I still do have one more barn worker, and that's going to have to just do for now because their job will switch out to hunting or it will switch out to fishing in due time. I can also make good use of them as, you know, their farming skills getting up there. We're going to end up with a second pigsty is what's going to end up happening here anyhow. All right. Let's get some of this started. All right, what's going to happen here? I want to move this, and I'm going to make this into kind of like an area that's going to have multiple purposes. It's going to have, it's going to be the sitting area for eating. It's also going to be kind of like a communal, I guess you could say bath and uh, hygiene related area, I suppose we could say. I also looked over at some of the things here, and I am not satisfied with how that house looked on the corner. That's going to be changed. First off, what we're doing is we need a few more stones to finish these bases. I'm going to need me to get some logs. I am very low on stone. And when I say I'm very low on stone, I mean we are down to one stone. And that's really sad considering how much we did in the previous seasons and how much we've tossed at these houses right now. I haven't been doing a lot of mining due to the questing around. So that leads to there being a little bit of a shortage for stone, and that's going to have to be fixed. My extractors could work on it right now, but they are gaining skills, and they are helping the conduit that goes to here. And there is about to be a little bit of a change here, too. Matter of fact, we're going to do that right now. I want to edit this house, and we'll show you what's up with this. I'm not satisfied with the way this thing looks. We're taking care of it. So Domusla and Emerica. Emerica are going to get moved. We're going to move them here. You, sir, are moving there. And I have another spot for you. You there. You're moving there. Alright, anybody home? Nobody home. 
it's time to smash. Done. Done. All right. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to turn this into a solid rock wall, and we're going to put the door here. Why? Uh, of course. See, we're out of stone. Why? Because I'm going to extend... I want to extend the sewing hut right off of here, and it looks nice. It looks much better than it does the way this is. I know this is horribly inefficient as far as gathering stones is concerned. I am 100% with you, but I want to get this done just to kind of display it, and then it's on to the proper, proper, proper way to do things. I'm also going to have to tear down the sewing hut, but we do have her working there right now, so we will wait a little while into the day for that. There we go. See, now we have it. And it's funny, because you saw that bed there a moment ago, right? Boom. All reorganized as soon as you commit to the new wall setup. Kind of nice. All right, with this, we need to check to see if Don, mighty Don, has nothing in his inventory at all. I do have some logs. So let's get a start here. Why not, after all? I have no straw? Well, you can't tell me I don't have any straw. Hold on, hold the phone. I know I've got straw. I've got straw coming out my ears. And that will pay off over time, right? It's great to have straw coming out of your ears. Get this set, I will, mmm. Yes, just in time. All right, time to get more logs. Let's go, Don. We need to get stuff. Probably could tear it down. Well, we'll come back to that. We're going to be tearing down one of those houses. We're going to be building a second pigsty. We're going to be moving the pigsties. They're going to get some, they're going to be somewhere else. The way they were placed initially was just to get it done. Now it's time to start making this place nice. It's time to start actually thinking about making this place look decent. And I'm going to begin that work in the other side of the village. We will finish up the, the kind of uh, major decoration over here in due time. We don't really need the fertilizer to be taken care of just yet. So I'll take this stuff and just drop it in here. We are wearing our winter weather gear because, hey, it's cold. I will need lots and lots of logs. Johnny, you're going to be carrying logs today. How many logs can you carry? You can carry quite a few. That's good news. You will. And we'll get it all done. Ish. We'll get as far as we can anyway. We'll see what we can get done. It might also be worth getting into the mines and getting some stone. We'll see where things go for the building right now. We'll need a few planks to take care of this work. We'll need some straw as well. We're also going to need ourselves a hammer. And I know I have a number of planks sitting over in the other area, and I probably should focus more on logs than anything. I'm dead tired. I bet you are, sir. But, gotta keep going. Okay, we'll get this thing set. We'll make some planks. We'll make sure that we can actually finish the roof of the new building. We're also going to need to be sure that that, I'm pretty sure that building is heavy on logs. The food storage level two is very, very heavy in logs. How much more can you hold down? That's the real question. How much more can I, that's great. All right, Don, you got it. You're doing it. And I have basically no stone. Oh, despicable. Okay, that should put us in a good spot. Unfortunately, it's going to mean that Donna's overloaded and I'm overloaded, so it's back to me running again, which is a great time. But I do have both of us overloaded, and that is going to make it so that I can't just simply ride on Zadonke. I do need some sticks. We are going to need to build us a hammer again. When we get back up here and get to this area, we'll make some edits, show you what I'm talking about with this setup. We do have a quest we can do for one of our villagers. That's super convenient. We are not going to start the village board quests until tomorrow. I want to focus more on getting this village up and going. Then we can get on to the village questing in due time. How are you? What do you need? A spare bottle of cherry wine? Does it have to be cherry wine? Mm-hmm. Right about what? Oh, I see. I will help have you. A nice day. Don't I have cherry wine? Ah! Let me take out this axe on you. Oh, I'm very sorry. How um, are you? 
and take a closer look at you. I apparently, apparently I happen not to be carrying cherry wine, even though I swear I'm always carrying cherry wine. I must have already drank it. Uh-oh. My character has a problem, and now I'm forgetting that I'm drinking things. Uh-oh. Character's got a real problem. All right, there we go. I should have a hammer. Why do I not have a hammer? Oh, it did not automatically go to slot number two. Sad state of affairs. Alrighty, and then there's that little thatch corner there. Some wattle. And more sticks. More sticks, more sticks, more sticks, more sticks. Alright, well, we'll get there. Don, you're the one with the planks. Get over here, man. That was awesome. Love seeing teleporting donkeys. Never gets old. Alrighty. Let's get some of this in here. Boop. A boop and a boop. Lots of booping. We're gonna boop this building done. Almost booped the way. Donnie, I need all of it. Give me all the, not all the lugs. Most of the lugs done. Most of the lugs. We don't have to get too crazy here. Get this plank. Get this. Get it. Get it. Okay, we're finishing this one up. Really, I just don't want it to look silly. It was so, mm, it just didn't look right. The whole setup just did not look right. It, it, everything was kind of straight lines here and there, and then suddenly it was, oh, actually, I put this thing over here, and I put this thing over here in the angle because I, I just decided I would do that. And that's going to happen. Things aren't going to be perfect. I certainly won't be perfect. And when you're making your village, I hope it's okay if things don't go perfect for you either, and that you edit things when you want, and that you make the fixes as you need them. And as it just improves what you have. It does make me excited about how things are going. I go through moments of, well, do I really have a clue what I'm doing? And I, I mean, honestly, no, but it's going to look good in the process. And that's the thing. And it's not like it won't look decent. I do have a nice middle area plan going. I am looking forward to having the rock fence. I mean, honestly, honestly. Some of the things that you have to wait for the unlocks, it's just so too bad. The rock fence is one of those that I just wish was a little earlier on. It's nice. It looks good. It really completes things well, and it looks wonderful on fields. But it's a late one. Here we go. The last thing I need to do inside here is we need to do the insides. Ah, two logs shy. Now, hold on. Don, do you not have two logs? Did I just not take them all? No, I wouldn't have taken them all because it would have overloaded me. So, of course, it didn't have all of them. Okay, that's going to take care of the food area. We're going to build some fencing around this to create a natural divide. These are going to be gone, so that's the next step here for Donnie. I need my friendly, friendly donkey to come on over, and we're going to drop some stuff in your inventory. I uh, know, it's kind of a... It's a process, Don. Trust the process. That straw I can put back into the storage bin over there shortly. But we're going to end up with more straw anyhow, so let's do that. I'm looking forward to setting up the sewing hut. I really I kind of like how it turns out. It kind of looks more like it makes sense that this person had a sewing hut as a part of just their home. They're the sewer. They're the seamster of this area. And I also never had the right person assigned in there anyway, so I had the house there just waiting and doing its thing, but it wasn't actually even the right person either, so this will be a nice improvement. Tearing it down. Tear it all down. There we go. Now we have plenty of buildable space. This will allow the wall to come out this way and divide this area up nicely. We can have a sitting area for eating in this zone right here. And I'm going to make a slight public bath type thing over in this area. That's the future plan. That's where things are going. A single plank, why not? I'll grab it and go. Next thing that needs some changing, editing, improving is going to be the area over there. And I think... Some of y'all, as you looked at it before, might have looked at it and said, What were you thinking with the placement of that house? The one on the corner, straight ahead. That one, so I've got this at this spacing, I've got this one at this spacing, and I know that I talked about having this little side field here, and I like it. 
And then I have this house right here, which is fine. It's in a decent location. It's in a decent area. It makes sense. This actually, at one point, I debated whether I wanted to make this. Well, I thought about making this the food storage and the kitchen, because then it would be centrally located as you go out. And then as you came into the village down this road, you'd be walking in next to the kitchen and the food storage, which sounds really cool and makes a lot of sense. Only problem is it's not very close to the villagers, which mm, that's not the right thing. That doesn't seem right. What's going to happen instead is now that we have the sitting area over there, we have a nice house across the way here. There's going to be a pathway to the market, the open market here. This house on the corner, yeah, I mean, you look at that and you're going, that's a lot of space. That's a tight corner. Uh, no, it doesn't make sense. It makes it look really wrong. And when I looked at that, I looked back at it and I'm going, ooh. I mean, I get that I'm trying to fit extra stuff here and I get that I'm trying to kind of cram stuff in so I have as many villagers as I can get away with in the area, but then that, you know, doesn't seem like the right move, right? So instead, what we're going to do is it's going to be just an easy set, set up to turn this and move it to the side. Now, if this was Sengoku, I would just simply press T and we'd move this house and it'd all be done and that'd be great. But it is Medieval Dynasty, so I'm going to tear it down. Waste resources. I know. Very sad. Not the happiest moment. And then we're going to go from there. I believe that's going to put us in a pretty decent spot. And that allows us a nice amount of space between these two. Actually, a fairly significant amount of space between those two. Might move it to the left just a pinch. And that allows me to move that one over just a pinch, too. Alright. That being the case. Boom. Boom. We'll get this one placed just right. And the goal, I don't want to have the uh, log foundations. They look they look decent in some setups. I just don't know. I kind of like not having it like that. I like having the stone foundations. Let's get as tight over here as we can. There we are. And that's going to give a very nice amount of space here. Now it actually looks like there's proper proper space between these homes and not just a whole lot of cramming everybody together in a corner just for the sake of having a corner crammed in. So that was the main goal there. We'll drop the planks for now and then we'll start the construction here so we can gain our resources. And that is the sound of my cat jumping down from a great height Apparently she's caught something. Nice job. What hoot. Actually, this would be a pretty decent spot for a window. Let's do that. Thatch. Nope. We're going all tile all the way. And uh, last one there. This is overlooking somebody else's yard, so nah, let's not do that. There we go, let's go. Making it happen. Still have to deconstruct this. Tear, tear it down. And be ready to build the next one up next door. Falling down. There we go. The nice thing about having half the resources back is... I don't know. I can build half a house, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's, that's my consolation price. It is a consolation prize. It'll be alright. We will get these resources in due time. There we are. Donny. Thanks, Donkey. You do best. I don't know if we're going to have all the resources we need to finish it, though, is the sad part, right? There we go. Let's get inside and have to make a new hammer. Oh, hammers. Luckily, Don has sticks on him. Let's get some of these sticks. We can deal with 12 sticks. We'll build the hammer up. We'll continue the process. I wonder if there's a time delay on how long it will remember that you needed a new hammer. Eight stones. There we go. So it's all about stones now, yes? Yeah, and that's the thing that we're struggling with at this point in time. 
Struggle is probably a strong word. It's the thing that we need to gather more of and make sure that we are actually having enough of. This is too close here. So this will get moved. And then it's time to get to that sewing hut. Because that sewing hut is kind of the key thing I was talking about too, right? I wanted to show how that's actually going to look in this new setup. I'm moving this over a little from where it was before. As I do want there to be kind of a walkway here. And I want that walkway to be fairly big. But I do want to make sure I have that. And that's pretty darn nice. Look at that. That's a real good. Right on a north-south line. I like it. Nicely done, me. It only takes a few tries, and that's okay. Now, she's still working. She is still working. We're going to need to clear this place out anyway, so let's start clearing this place out. We're going to take all the resources out of here. I'll obviously be overloaded. No, no, actually I won't. Time to use my teleporting resource storage. I'm sorry, Odie, Johnny. I'm going to need you over here, Donkey. I can't have you over there. I'm building a building over there. Don't be stepping where I'm about to build, friend. Now you get to carry all kinds of other things. Dude, no. I don't want you to have my large pouch. Thank you, but very kind of you, friend. And I will need more sticks. We will need the straw. So let's take all the sticks. Cool. That'll do. Aww. And it's time to equip the large pouch again. Yeah, definitely. Definitely don't want to be without my large pouch. I like carrying stuff. There can't be too much time left in the workday. No, 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 no. Let's see here. I probably should do a quick thing. I don't want to build too close. When I start thinking about this wall here, I did want to have a decent amount of farming space back here. I happen to have deleted this. Let's do that here. Now, thinking about the whole... Which fence is good for privacy? Probably the plank fence, we'll think about. Okay, time to break stuff down. Smashy, smashy. The day is all about the smash. Break it all down. Oops. Yeah, the wall. I'm telling you. Hit the wall. Not the loom, man. There we are. Done. Oh, you're going to walk right where I need you not to walk. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. Whack. Runs right into me. Kitchen? Never. Ah, the sewing hut. Are we close? Not really. And here we are. Now we're going to rotate this thing. Are we actually facing westerly? Let's do it right. Goal here is to make sure that this is nice and smooth and actually on. So, we'll line this up by getting these foundations in line. It helps to... Third person mode is not bad for this. And now I want to be on a westerly line. Do some rotating until it makes sense that it's actually on. And it's not going to be perfect, I don't think. But we're going to get as close as we can. Now we'll walk straight back. Yup. Yup. Boom. Okay. Nice. I'm out of stone. <laughs> it's always out of stone. Always out of stone. Oh, it's the day. It's going to just be a stone-filled day. Just need four more stone. Honestly, four more stone. Four more stone. Four more stone. Now we'll take one more just in case. And then I think the pigsty area is going to be down here. I think my goal is to put it in this area. Have an animal husbandier area and have enough room to expand the fields out since I do believe that that's in the future. Uh-oh. Having trouble jumping. Too much stuff. It's a swing and a miss. That's a swing and a miss. Today's the day of swing and a miss. Done. Okay. All right. So then I liked that better. I like the fact that this looks like it makes sense. Like, they, if it's truly their workshop and it's truly this person is our seamster, this is kind of fun that it's a combination of these two. And that this is, like, their focus, their thing. And yet there's still a way to get into the house, and it's still a usable space. We'll get decorated in this one. We'll have it very much emphasizing the idea that they're the seamster. Or seamstress. Either way. And then we'll have a divide here, and I do want to have some kind of nice little area and probably a market stand right here out of the way you 
for that. All right, that being the case, I am walking back over here for no reason. Because I don't have any stone. And that's certainly not a thing that I want to be stuck dealing with. So what we can do... I'm not ready to move our house, since our house being right there is going to go just a pinch over. Although, realistically, that does not need to happen anymore because of these changes. Were these changes necessary? Well, I like them. I think it looks much better. I'm looking forward to this area down here. I've done a little kind of like sitting and doing, just like try stuff and see what fits. And I'll, I'll finalize on some things as we go. I do know that we have cherry wine. Do you believe, anyway? Pretty sure I put it back in here. Sure do. Look at that. Hm. Interesting that we have two different stacks of them. One of them was stolen. There we go. Well, that's got to be the best tasting cherry wine in the world. Right? Don't they say that? I'm sure they do. Stolen wine is always sweeter. I'm sure they say that. I'm sure of it. Well, as we head back and I scroll down and I say, wow, where's all the stone? Obviously, there's no stone. And so that's the next step. So for me, that's going to be what the evening turns into and what I will do off screen, since that is not an exciting thing to watch. I do have my water skin on me, so we will definitely take some drinks out of that. And let's go turn in our... Let's go turn in the cherry quest. Cherry wine quest, that is. And with this quest, I remember... Oh, this was way back in the first series that whenever you get a quest for a wine, always agree that the wine, the quest person sent me on a quest for cherry wine. I should agree with them that cherry wine is the best. I get a little extra stuff for it. I get a bonus. How Hi there. Do you do? Here's your wine. Are you sure it's the cherry? Well, yeah. Uh, I haven't asked you your favorite wine. Oh, it's obviously cherry wine. I knew you were talking to the person. Good yes. Lad. So you get, see, that bonus 20 is because you agreed with them. The 80 was going to be there anyway. Okay. All right, y'all, with that, this was a day of just making changes. As I walk into here, I'll finalize on these thoughts. I like how this looks. It stands out a little bit now. There will be a walkway into the central area. There will be a park here. And this will be a common area for eating. That's what this is going to turn into. This will be a dividing wall that comes across out to here. And there will be kind of like a staging area over here for... Um, I want to make a public bath. I made one in, a pre in my Valley playthrough that I have played so many years ago that started from so long ago into the, into the game. I'm going to expand on that idea and just see if it looks okay here. I usually like having it on the back of a tavern, but I don't have a tavern yet. So we'll get there. And then, of course, over here, either on this hill which hopefully it won't turn into being an issue with the animals nearby. I just really hope that that's not going to be an issue with spawning. It is very close to this area. But if you look at the distance between these two, I did see an animal. I saw animals in this area. So if I build here, I think we'll be okay. I really want to build it like right here on top of it because it'll look cool as an overlook of that uh, cliff here overlooking the swamp. But... You build your structures too close to an area and animals stop spawning. This is also very hilly, but right there, that looked like a nice spot. Oh well. It'll be good. With that, thank you for joining me. Grateful to have you here as always, and I look forward to seeing you in next time around. And next time it will be a lot of questing, that is for sure. Take care until then.